In this video, I'm going to discuss the relative position of fair value gaps and how you can use the market's relative position to a fair value gap to your advantage. Guys, um, I want to direct your attention to the community tab of my channel. Um, I'm, I'm making a lot of posts uh, talking about some of the things that I'm going to discuss in the near future. And so if you wouldn't mind, uh, head over to the community post, and when I make written posts, you can follow along there. So guys, if you go to my channel and you click on the community tab, you can find my written posts. Okay guys, in this uh, video, we're going to discuss the uh, current market price relative to the fair value gap and whether the market is staying above or below the fair value gap and... Um, whether the market is leaving that fair value gap open or it's closing it. So <clears throat> let's head over to our chart and let's get over on the five minute chart and look at some examples. So guys, the first thing that you want to do when you're looking at the relative position of a fair value gap, the market's current price relative to a fair value gap, is of course you need to identify some fair value gaps. So, for example, here we have a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. Now, in essence, what you're looking for is, okay, number one, is the market coming back and trading in that fair value gap or is it leaving it open? If the market is leaving that fair value gap open, that's a good sign that the market is going to shoot lower or going to shoot higher in a sustained move. So we're very simply just looking at where is the market relative to that fair value gap? Okay, so here we have another example of a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. Now you can see that the market came back in and we made an institutional order flow entry drill, but the market, the, the market price was staying above that fair value gap there, which was a good sign that the market was going to run on this buy side liquidity and then it ran on this buy side liquidity as well. Okay, guys, so this is not uh, the world's most difficult concept to understand. You're basically just looking at, okay, where where is the market in re relative position to the fair value gap that I'm looking at? Is it trading above? Is it staying above that, that fair value gap? Or is the market closing it out? That's, that's basically it. Now, the other thing that I want to mention to you is to look at both sides of the curve. So, for example, here we have a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. Now, it was not only a sign to you when the market... Uh, the, the buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency that you can see here, you're not just looking at it for the way on the way up, or in other words, the buy side of the curve. You're also looking at it as the market comes back down. Okay, so as the market came back down, notice that when the market trade traded through this buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency, that the market uh, did not trade back up into it. In other words, it left this buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency uh, open, and the market was trading lower, which was a sign that we were going to run on these short-term sell side liquidity. So one of the ways that you can use the fair value gap, and I'm going to keep this uh, video pretty short, is look at the current market price relative to the fair value gap. Are we trading above the fair value gap, and are we leaving it, are we leaving it open? Um, that's a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency, or do we have a sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency, which is the bearish fair value gap, and are we continuing to trade below? So take your fair value gap and look at the current market price relative to that fair value gap, and that should give you a hint on where the market wants to go. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to keep this one pretty short. Um, there's not a whole lot more to discuss other than what I just talked about here. You can find my referral links, Apex Trader Funding, Top Step Trader Funding, The Trader Pit, and American Express Blue Cash Preferred in the description box below. Uh, Apex Trader Funding is currently running a sale. I recommend that you uh, go have a look. Finally, guys, some disclaimers. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Um, per the Commodities Futures uh, Trading and Exchange Commission and the Securities and Exchange Commission, trading futures involves uh, a substantial risk of loss, including more capital than you invest initially into your account. I am not advising you to purchase or sell securities or securities derivatives, and I cannot be liable for your decisions. Trade with extreme caution. 
Okay, guys, thank you. Use the description uh, referral links in the description box below. And remember to be looking at the relative position of current market price to fair value gaps.